On January 22, 2024, there was a, a house that I guess it filled up with gas and it, and it exploded in Dubois County. Um, this is t January 23, just the next day. So it seems like uh, maybe somebody was killed in that explosion. I don't know if it was natural gas hooked up or if it was, um, you know, a, a tank. In another video, I talked about my bad interactions I had with Phil Ross at the Nat Indiana Natural Gas Corporation going all the way back to like 2005 I think it was when they had that little earthquake here that kind of shook everybody awake at about 5 in the morning you know concerns about gas lines breaking are there automatic shutoffs does the fire department know how to shut it off to the town um, and all this business and why are there gas lines running through my backyard instead of my front yard and I I was pretty nice about it, I think, uh, but I called, uh, I made a mistake of calling Phil Ross, and uh, he was very hostile, very defensive about gas, like, you know, basically his attitude towards me was just shut up and don't ask questions, all right? He doesn't like automatic shutoff valves when there's earthquakes. He doesn't want the fire department to know how to shut the main off to the town because it costs money to get everybody's house going again, he thinks. I called and asked about these uh, flex pipes systems and being grounded. When uh, Instead of going with black pipe, you go with a full house flex pipe system. So I got some extremely rude go F yourself attitude from Phil Ross back in starting in two thousand five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I only I did, I think I'd only contacted him a few times. When I had gas coming into my house from the meter leaking out here, they were like, Well, we'll get out here next week sometime, you know. But anyways, uh, not very impressive, not in a good way. But I don't know if this house had that type of hookup or if it had a tank. But either way, I've had concerns about gas. I grew up in a house that had gas everything, water heater, cook stove oven, clothes dryer, uh, furnace, gas everything. I grew up smelling you know, the stuff they put in the gas. How the hell we didn't blow up, I don't know. I came home one day when I was 16. I walked in the house. Nobody was here. And I kept hearing a hissing noise, and I thought, I thought, what is that noise? And I was walking around the house, and I thought, it's coming from the stove. And I lifted up the stove, the top, and the flex line that came with the the stove, it was under the top of the stove from the factory, it had blown out about a foot long rip, I guess just from gas pressure. And there was a, a blue flame shooting across underneath that top of that stove. It was about a foot wide and a foot and a half long just flowing a blue flame so it had blown out but the stove had pilot lights a lot of stoves don't have pilot lights anymore so as soon as that gas hit the pilot lights it exploded and it made a small explosion under the stove which blew some pans around on the stove again nobody was home but that could have easily been a situation where nobody's home, a pipe bust, a flex hose like the one I'm showing here, and the house fills up with gas. 
and then it you know finds a, a spark or electricity or somebody walks in the door and turns on a light switch and here we go right or it finds another pilot light and something that has a pilot light so gas is dangerous and then there's a, the question of is it healthy to live in a house that has gas the byproduct of uh, using gas and so on and then uh, when you call the gas company and you get shit attitudes from these assholes it's very unsafe I am down to just having a dryer with gas I've been phasing it out and yeah there's trouble with electricity electricity can go out but electricity doesn't cause your house to blow up <laughs> we see it all the time remember up a few years ago near Boston I think it was houses were blowing up everywhere in like in one day and it's because they had over pressurized the line and these little flex hoses can't take the pressure that the black pipe can take the heavy uh, iron pipe and it blows it out house fills up with gas finds a spark and there you go so gas is just dangerous gas is cheap right now it hasn't always been but I would I would recommend people try to phase out gas and then have some sort of backup for your heat and cooking if you can whatever that is a generator or uh, you know a grill tank propane whatever is a backup in case you get an ice storm that knocks down power lines you know for a couple of weeks or whatever it is but uh you know, have a black, a backup plan. So, even though I only have one thing on on the gas line at the moment, I still uh, I bought a gas detector, and I bought this in December of 2023. Should have had one decades ago, but I did buy buy one. And I'm going to demonstrate it here using a, a handheld propane tank. So yeah, I would recommend anybody that's got gas hook up in your house, whether it's a central from a main system or it's a tank, get a few of these gas detectors. You plug them in, the, the one I got, you, you plug it in. If your power goes off, it doesn't work. Um, but anyways, and put it where you can hear it if you're sleeping put put one in your bedroom put one in the kitchen the basement you know whatever wherever your wherever your gas stuff is is uh, try to put it put it in that area but it, make sure you have it where it can wake you up if uh, if you spring a gas leak while you're while you're sleeping right <laughs> 